Another thing that we need to learn about mate painting is the importance of image projection. Image projection is where you take an image and project it into a surface, a 3D surface, um, for example, a character or a block to sh give the, the certain textures based on our image that we can, you know, manipulate it. And there are two image projection in Blender. We have static and camera base. Static is a fixed projection and it is used to create textures on any kind of mesh. And camera base is a different uh, projection. It's a dynamic projections where the position of our camera will affect the projection. Okay, let's do the static projection first. Okay. Um, on our scene, let's just say in our scene we have a streets and stuff, but we want to add some signs on our um, on our scene. And usually, when you um, Google for a, a, a sign, I'm gonna go with pixels because why not? Uh, we have a sign here that I want to add. And obviously, if you do this from scratch, it will take a long time to actually really use this um, and add it into our scene, right? The cool thing is, because we're using image projection, it will be more easier to do. Okay, I'm gonna download this file. And now we have that file. I'm gonna uh, import it into our scene. So again, using Shift A to import image, image is plain. I'm gonna look for my pixels, which is right here. And again, rendering mode to rendering, look dev. Uh, now we have our thing here. And the cool thing because it's 3D, we can actually uh, manipulate our um, planes here. So I'm gonna go uh, edit mode by going to edit mode. And then I'm gonna select our... Um, select the knife tool. knife project oh okay okay so if you want to cut our mesh here you have to press K so you have this knife tool and then you can actually cut these image out from our image it's gonna take some time depending on uh, how complex your sign is so I'm gonna fast forward this process. Okay, once you finish it up, just press space and you should see a mesh is completely selected. So I'm gonna go to face selection here, I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna select the outer uh, planes here, outer faces up here, I'm gonna press X and then delete faces. Now we're left with our sign. Cool. Um, this sign. Uh, I'm gonna move it in the center so to do that we can press space 
and then say origin uh, gonna center sorry, mesh and look for the So I'm gonna go to press N to show up our um, settings here on our item um, settings on median. I'm gonna set it to zero. Like that. Can I just set more to make it more center? Cool. Now we have a sign, and to use the sign, if you go to our rendering again, it's not really uh, light up. So I'm gonna put simple light in our scene. I put a light point light again because again point light is cool and you can see it affects really well however if you look at the um, the textures on our plane here it's quite flat but we know in our picture we have this like warble and dirt and stuff and we're gonna add the those details in our scene to have that realistic looking so we can change that using shader I'm gonna select our sign here change it to shading tab I'm gonna zoom in and in our material editor here the thing that we want to change is we want to add some data in our specular and roughness that's the only two, um, two that we can add and the metallic we can actually add that as well so we're gonna put uh, 0.5 to have that metallic um, look to it if you don't see it go to um, output I mean um, go to our render properties and select screen space reflection to have that reflections and enable reflections for refraction based uh, reflections so uh, we're gonna add that specular data first and usually uh, we have a black and white maps to influence our specular and roughness so to do that we're gonna go and add a color ramp and in here we're gonna plug in our color in our faculty here and if I press control shift and click on this note we should see a black and white version of our scene if it doesn't work on your side make sure to go to edit preferences and type in node and make sure note wrangler is enabled and again save it so you didn't lose it okay cool now we have our black and white image we can then um, control our slider here to have uh, more control on our black and whites to have more black or more um, whites and we usually want to have like a middle ground between uh, two sides because again we want to have like a subtle changes in our scenes here and keep in mind in using specular the black one will not be specular and the white one will be specular will be more shine and this one will be like matte or something so if we put this into our um, specular node and control shift click on our uh, principal bsdf we should see if i change this um viewport to support our scene lights and if, if I move my lights here you can see how different it is let me change it to rendering mode so you can see it real well so if I move our scene here oh it's kind of like you can see uh, it has more shine on the white one but not on the black one because it's again it's matte and there's a paint on it and if you can't really see it you can reduce our um, roughness to see the effects I change it to 15 because it doesn't really that metallic anyway so okay now uh, we're gonna do the same thing with our um, Roughness. I'm gonna duplicate this um, note here. Shift D and duplicate it. I'm gonna put in the same color as well. 
but instead I'm gonna go here and flip color ramp so control shift will have an inverse version of our um, thing here so I'm gonna plug it in into our roughness so it'll be more glossier and yeah we can control it again and see um, it reflected and all and another thing that we add was we want to add that um, what do you call it the warble basically and you can easily do that by going to um, to a site um, it's a it's an online normal making so I'm gonna go Google and normal generator and we have a normal map online I'm gonna click it so we're gonna take a picture um, okay maybe a high map depending on what you needed and we need to change our pixel uh, image into a black and white image and to do that we need to use Photoshop so I'm gonna open up my Photoshop real quick okay gonna drag it up here and I'm gonna drag the image from my downloads uh, this is the one with the sign and now we have this so we're gonna change this into a black and um, black and white image we're gonna press image adjustment black and white and then we're gonna change this into infrared if you want to have those things but I think to be honest it will be okay if we use um, maximum white to have that gray tone again press ok gonna save it save as and change this into height map ok alright now we have a black and white image gonna go back here and then on the height map gonna click it and press height map and open it up and now we should be able to see our normals here and it's quite messy if you can look at it it's, it's not really that good but it's fine because again this is actually got composed um shrink it together basically so we're gonna go to uh our rmg height and if we go to our displacement we can see it's a bit different now and we also have some other stuff that we can use we can even have speckler but we're already done that using our notes so I'm gonna go to normal here and I'm gonna download it okay I'm gonna go back here and import that image so I'm gonna duplicate this shift D and open up our uh, thing and select our normal map and to use our normal map you have to change the color of the space into a non color so I'm gonna scroll down because I have a lot of color profile here and look for non-color should be around here somewhere there non-color and then gonna shift A and then I'm gonna sh um, type for normal map gonna put in the color into the normal map and then normal map into the normal and now we have this intense normal still bubbles and stuff we can increase decrease the the strength of our normal by 0.1 or maybe I don't know 15 at least so yeah now we have kind of that warble influence and you can see the details like popping up more compared to before and that's really cool so yeah now we have our static sign that we can use on our scene we can adjust it more by adding like a like a, a pole on our sign here I'm gonna click the change it to object mode and select this too I'm gonna grab it up there and I can add um, a cylinder I'm gonna scale it on let's put it like this to make a pole grab it and then move it up Push it more here, 
and maybe just sink it at the top so it doesn't extend it too much like this and select them all press space shade smooth to make it more smoother I gotta make a new material change this into metal and increase the metallic to have that metallic uh, thing and we can reduce the roughness by to 5 to have that metallic ish so if I change this to look dev now you can see how realistic that looks like right? and we can add our scene lights to influence as well in our scene see how crazy that is right by just using an image you can create a fake 3d version on our uh, scenes we're going to compose it we have multiple of this so if i combine this by selecting this and this control j to combine it into one um, object i'm gonna um, shift a wait control a and then look, apply location rotation and scale I could then move it based on the original point which is kind of neat because we can add more variation uh, on our scene Let's shift it and we can add more signs whatever you, uh, whenever we want it it's kind of neat so this is static image projection which is kind of um, taking an image projecting to to like a um, an object and it will be static the other, uh, the other one that we're gonna use is called camera projection and I'll do that after this.